What's up, Flare Fishing Fam? We are gonna film a wacky rigging video. Um, I saw this tip about a year ago, and um, it's a pretty cool tip, and I haven't really seen anybody else make a video over it. So, I'm gonna grab some, some plies, ribbon tail, Sanko box, and I need some Sankos, which those should work, and I need a wacky tool. Pretty positive I stuck it in this box thinking if I ever need a Sanko, I'm gonna need the wacky rig tool, but it probably wasn't the smartest thing to to stick it down in here somewhere. Now I'm just lost, I have absolutely no idea where this is. That's, that's kind of an important part of this video is a uh, wacky rig tool here. Let's try some other boxes. I think it's in frogs, top water, probably not in craws. Swim baits, tubes, flukes, lizards, toads. Maybe in this miscellaneous box, I'm not seeing it. Got it. All right, so now I have the Senkos, the wacky rig tool, and I need some wacky rig hooks. I believe I left my hook box in my bedroom. All right, now I need some wacky hooks. That one's pretty big, that should do um, for this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just got this boom pole. You guys seen this? It's made by uh, YOLO Tech. Basically that goes into the seat uh, holster and you put a camera up there. That way you get the look of a drone without actually having a drone. Pretty sweet. All right, so now that I've got the three things, got the Senkos, wacky rig tool, Hook. I'm going to show you the best way to rig a Senko Wacky Rig. Alright guys, so in today's video I am going to show you how to effectively rig a Wacky Rig to catch more fish. Because the thing with a Wacky Rig is it gets a lot of bites but your hookup ratio is not always that great. So there's a tool I use to help me catch more fish. And this one is the Wacky Tool. There's a couple of different brands, doesn't really matter which one you use. Basically what it does is it has these little, um, you can see these little bands on there. And uh, you basically stick your lure inside of the tube, slide the band off, and that's how you rig it. So I'm going to show you how to rig. To me, it is the proper way. And it just allows you to catch a lot more fish. So what you do is you stick your lure through the tube, just like that. And you see this little ring right here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus there. A the little ring right there. You slide that off. So you just slide it on down. You want to have this somewhat in between the middle, so if you were to bend your worm in half like that, you know, you want it somewhere right in the middle. It doesn't really matter. You get different actions depending on where you uh, place the ring. Slide it off. You can see the ring is on there just like that. So, this is how most people normally do it. They take the bait and they put the hook right through it like this. And they come out the top just like that. And the reason why I use this ring is because it keeps the bait from ripping off. So if the fish were to grab the tail, it won't just rip the lure off. That little ring will keep it. The only problem with this is the hook is in line with the lure. As you can see, it's in line right there. Which means when the fish grabs it and you pull it, see how that hook, you guys can see that very well, that hook it, it, it just comes straight out the fish's mouth, just like that. So if this is the fish's mouth and it clamps down on it, and you pull, see how my fingers didn't get hooked? You can do this every time. Your fingers will not get hooked by you doing that. But if you can rotate the hook the other way, you'll get better hookup ratio. So what I do, is I take the same worm, the same wacky tool, you stick it in there, but you pull off two O-rings. So you slide off two O-rings. So you can see here, I've got two rings one two the lure in there what you do is you slide both of these down all the way down until they get on the lure you can see there i've got two of them on there now what you do now is you take one of them and overlap it with the other what you do is you create an x so i've done that here you guys can see that i created an x and what that allow you to do is that will allow you to rig the hook so it's not parallel with the lure so what you do you take your hook and you stick it in between the x just like that in and through and now you can see when I hold the worm like this the hook sticks out you can see right there how it's sticking out so now when the fish grabs it this is the fish's mouth again same thing I just did see how that hook goes over the top of my finger that hooks it so if this is the fish's mouth if my fingers the fish's mouth you do this and you pinch down you can see my fingers getting hooked just like that so that's how you effectively rig the wacky rig but then again you can do this without the wacky rig tool so if you just take a standard hook if you're not using the wacky tool that's how you want to rig it you just want to do this and you just want to stick it through just like that so that's what a wacky rig looks like 
But the problem with this, especially if you're using the Gary Yamamoto ones, the high-end actual Sankos, you know, you can have a bluegill pull on this and it will rip the worm right off your hook and you're just gonna go through a ton of more worms. So in my opinion, this is the best way to get the same amount of action that this one has. You can see they're rigged the same way, but there's no way a fish can break through, not even one ring, but now there's two rings on there. There's no way a fish is gonna break through that. Basically what's gonna happen is the worm will cut in half eventually when there's enough tension put on it. And uh, that's how I rig a wacky rig. I, I wish I would've learned this tip a long time ago because I used to wacky rig fish all the time. I still do, that's probably my all time favorite finesse style fishing in the summer, skipping it up under docks. Um, and it just has a nice slow subtle presentation and uh, it'll fall horizontal. You can also add a weight to it. Um, so that way it'll kind of stand up on end as you kind of walk it through the rocks and stuff like that. But otherwise, it'll stand up just like this and kind of quiver its way down. Super subtle presentation. I've caught a lot of big fish. I actually caught, I think it was a five plus pounder in the high school national championship on a weighted wacky rig. Uh, just caught a lot of big fish. Hopefully this tip helped you guys. It is winter. I'm gonna hopefully go do some ice fishing this weekend. Hopefully catch some fish. Give you some cool tips on ice fishing and stuff like that for you guys that also have ice uh, like I do and uh, hopefully get some good fishing content but again if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you hit that like button it just shows me that i'm making the videos that you guys want to see if you have any video suggestions let me know um, i'm game for just about any type of video that's related to fishing um, outdoors anything like that and then if you haven't hit that subscribe button it really helps me it really helps me out when you guys view my videos give me feedback and just helps me create great content for you guys to learn from. So that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching.